third and the second DC. A series of conjunctions involving Jupiter had occurred. Jupiter represents kingship, one of kings of coronation. In Hebrew, Jupiter is called a Sidbeth or righteousness, a term used for the Messiah. In September of 3rd BC, Jupiter came in conjunction with Regulus, the star of kingship in the constellation of Leo. Leo is the constellation of the kings. Leo, which means lion, is a symbol of the Jewish tribe of Judah. Just a month earlier, Jupiter came in conjunction with Venus. Then, Jupiter came in conjunction with Regulus. They repeated it not once, but twice. Then finally, in the month of June, Jupiter came in conjunction with Regulus, with Venus. They, they are the brightest objects in the night sky. And they came so close to one another that their disk appeared to touch. And to the naked eye, it seemed like one bright object in the setting sky. This rare event could not have been missed by the Magi.
God sent his own son into the world and he was born that night. A great star shone in the sky holding out the promise that the Redeemer was to be born. The King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the Savior, the Messiah, whose birth was foretold by the prophets, was about to take his place on earth. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, was born that night, when the sky and all the earth was bathed in a glowing radiance. Friends, we now present to you our Christmas story. Oh. 